today we are going to start wave optics it is the second chapter included in the syllabus under heading optics in this chapter we will study light waves as a wave so we can say that light in this chapter will be a wave light is a wave now what is a wave wave is energy transferring phenomena without transferring any mass it is a disturbance which can transmit energy without transferring any mass so we will treat visible light as a wave and describe various phenomena like reflection refraction interference diffraction and polarization okay so first of all we will have to understand what is a wave front so our first topic is wave front what is a wave front it is the frontal part of a parallel beam of light we define wave front as a continuous locus of the points which are vibrating in the same phase same phase vibrating points are cumulatively called a wave front say if a wave front is this white board then each and every point we take on this white board will have the same phase means the phase difference between any two point on a wave front is always zero in our syllabus three simple types of wave fronts are included which are namely spherical wave front cylindrical wave front and planar wave front so first wave front is named as spherical wave front if the source of light is a point light source then the wave fronts are spreaded in the form of spherical wave front so if we make its diagram then say this is a point light source then wave front will be spheres surrounding this point light source say this s1 is a sphere this is a point source located at the center of this s1 sphere then this spherical entity is called a spherical wave front say in some other time this wave front is here then this sphere will also be a spherical wave front call it uh, s2 this is the point light source s so first kind of wave front is spherical wave front which is due to the point light sources now second wave front is named as cylindrical wave front cylindrical wave front if the source of light is a linear type say some tube light is there so it is a linear source of light then the emitting wave fronts are cylinders and we call them cylindrical wave fronts see in the diagram say 
this is the linear light source and at some time this is a cylindrical wavefront call it c1 this is a linear source of light s and at time t some cylindrical wavefront is spread it which is depicted as c1 in some other time you may draw the other uh, cylinder which is c2 and that will be the position of the cylindrical wavefront at some other time t so this is c2 another cylindrical wavefront but these all are emanated from the linear light source s third one is named as planar wavefront third wavefront is named as planar wavefront what is it if the point source or a linear source is very far away and we take a very small part of cylindrical wavefront or spherical wavefront then it will look like a plane and we call that wavefront as a planar wavefront so in the diagram say this is some planar wavefront moving in this direction then it shows may it be a point like source may it be a linear source will be situated infinitely far away from this planar wavefront source s is at infinity this is planar wavefront say p1 p1 is a planar wavefront so in our syllabus only three types of uh, wavefronts are included which are spherical wavefront produced by point like source is cylindrical wavefront produced by linear sources and if the sources are very far away and we take a very small portion of cylindrical or spherical wavefront then that wavefront is called as planar wavefront so these three types of wavefront definitions are included in the syllabus now next topic is huygens principle next topic we are going to study is huygens principle huygens principle what is this this is a hypothesis to construct wavefront in a new site if you need to construct wavefront after time t then this principle helps us to build up that uh, secondary wavefront what this principle says this principle says that number 1 each and every point on any wavefront is a free source of light and it spreads in each possible direction secondary wavelets so first point of this principle is that each and every wavefront say this whiteboard is a wavefront then every point on this uh, wavefront this white board will be a fresh source which is spitting out new wavefronts 
new waves which are called secondary wavelets second one how will you find the position of the secondary wave front draw the frontal tangential plane on the secondary wavelets after time t and that tangential plane will be the position of the secondary wave front initially take any wave 